Once we understand the definition of the measure of output, we can go ahead and talk about the most famous macroeconomic indicator, GDP. GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product. Gross means total, okay, the nation as a whole, aggregate. Domestic means inside a country's border. So if we're talking about the U.S. GDP, that means whatever happens on the U.S. territory. Product, the third word, means what we produce or what the U.S. economy produces. Okay, So here um, is the definition of GDP. Again, um, we simply add one more word into the definition of output measure. So the GDP is the market value of all final goods and services domestically produced for the marketplace in a year. Okay. Mathematically, it's pretty easy to figure it out. So as we said before, we probably produced um, hundreds of thousands, uh, if not more, goods and services. And for each one, we have the price and the quantity information. So we use the price of product one times the price, uh, the quantity of product one, and price of product two times its quantity, price of product three times its quantity, and then take the summation across all goods and services produced. Okay, and um, the calculation is very straightforward. Okay. Um, where exactly we should go to find the U.S. GDP? In other words, how much the U.S. economy produced last year or any year in history? Okay. Here, I would like um, to ask you to pause the video and guess if you don't know about the U.S. GDP and just simply guess how much the U.S. economy produced in 2019. Okay. Here, um, I'm taking you to um, the website. Let me make it sh uh, smaller so that you will be able to see this. Uh, go to the website of the Bureau of Economic Analysis. This is a government agency under the Commerce Department. Okay, so it's a Commerce Department, uh, which is in charge of collecting the information and reporting um, the U.S. GDP. Okay, now um, the most recent report is for the fourth quarter in the year of 2019. Okay, in other words, the U.S. government reports GDP quarterly. Okay, So if we want to know what the U.S. economy did or how much we produced uh, in the, during the first quarter of 2020, we need to wait, uh, I think, um, later in April, okay? especially for those who really want to know the negative impact of the COVID-19. Okay, you probably need to keep, uh, you know, like come back here later and check out the government um, um, press release. Okay, I bet you know it's gonna be when the number comes out, it's gonna be uh, make it to the headlines. Okay, now if you click on this uh, current release, um. It gives you more details about um, that report, okay, the fourth quarter in the whole year of 2019. Uh, usually, the report starts with uh, the growth rate because that's the purpose of reporting the number. We want to know how uh, better or worse the economy did compared to the previous periods. Okay. If you want to know the size of the U.S. economy, we can scroll down here. Uh, 
there's a short paragraph called current dollar GDP. We're going to explain what current dollar means later in this chapter. But here is a magic number, uh, 21.73 trillion dollars. So this is um, how large the um, largest economy uh, on this planet is. Okay. 21.73 trillion dollars right. right let me switch back to our slides here and um other than gdp we have um many other measures of output and um another one sometimes uh, would be mentioned by professional economists or policy maker is GMP here N stands for national so GMP is gross national product okay now as suggested by the name here what matters is nationality okay if you go back and look at the very first line uh, on this slide GDP means gross domestic product so what matters is the geographical location. Is that dem uh, domestically produced or not, right? But here, when we look at GMP, what matters is the nationality. Now, if we use the US, uh, United States as an example, here is a simple way I use to tell the difference between these two. So GMP means anything made by Americans, okay? Anything made by Americans. It does not matter where it's made. It could be made in China by an American company or even American uh, employees, okay? Or it could be made in Germany, again, um, by American company, okay? And they are all gonna be counted as part of US GMP. GDP means made in America. Okay, made in America. What matters is a geographical location instead of nationality. So, for example, we see a lot of firms, um, foreign firms, um, invested in the United States, right? And uh, whatever they made here in the U.S. will go into uh, the U.S. GDP. Okay. Now here, um, let me give you a very simple example to show um, the difference between these two. Okay. Um, suppose. Give me one second. I'm trying to turn on the the join tablet here. All right. Suppose here. JPN. Uh, this stands for Japan. Okay, or Japanese uh, territory here. Uh, this big box stands for uh, USA. Okay, and um, we have um, a Toyota firm in the south. Okay, I believe we have one in Mississippi uh, producing cars. And um, this factory produced, let's see, 1,000 cars. Okay. And um, in Japan, there's a, oops, sorry, there's a Ford factory, okay, right here, for example, um, produced, let's see, 1,200 cars, all right? Now, you would find that the 1,200 cars produced by Ford will go into which country's GMP? 
because Ford is an American company, so these 1,200 cars will go into the U.S. GMP, right? Because they are made by Americans,、um, but these 1,200 cars are produced on the Japanese territory, so it will be counted as. Japan's GDP. All right. Similarly, here on this side, these one thousand cars made by Toyota,、um, because it happened on the U.S. territory, so it's going to be counted as the U.S. GDP. Okay. But Toyota is a Japanese firm, so it's going to be counted as a Japan's GMP. Okay, it's made by Japanese. All right. Now here, because we already have two measures of output in front of us, we also want to compare between them. Okay, we want to figure out which one is a better measure of output, GDP or GMP. Now, I would guess the answer to this question would be straightforward, because if you close your eyes and think about which one you heard more often, it's going to be GDP, right? You barely hear somebody talking about GMP these days. So GDP, we use it more often. It's very likely it's going to be the better one, right? Now, why? Why we believe GDP is a better measure than GMP? Okay. Here, I would like to leave that for you guys to、uh, think about it. And during our virtual meeting, we would be able to talk about this. Okay,、um, I could give you a clue here,、uh, or maybe two clues. The first one is you could think about the ties or connections、uh, to local economy. Okay,、um, here I give you two firms or、uh, two、um, auto factories.、Uh, one is Toyota in the United States. The other is a Ford factory in Japan. Which one? Which one matters? To whom? Okay, or you could say which one matters more to whom?、Uh, the second clue I can give you is how are we going to define the nationality of a company? For individuals, it's pretty easy, right? You get their passport. Is that a U.S. passport or Japanese passport? Right. So we can define your citizen citizenship or nationality. But for a company, how could we do that practically? Again, at our virtual meeting, we're gonna talk about these、um, more challenging、uh, points.